There are a lot of levers you can pull in paid search campaigns to improve your performance. But one of the ones I see people ignoring is geography or location targeting. Usually you find just the widest range that you can target, whether it's a city, a state, or a country, and you add in just the one line item in your targeting options. But that leaves a lot of optimization and data insights on the table. So today I want to talk through a handful of strategies that we like to use to take full advantage of location targeting in our campaigns. As I'm going through this video, I'm going to do my best to show you real live examples of how we're leveraging geography in client accounts. In some instances, I'm going to have to use some paused campaigns. In other ones, we might have to blur some stuff out, but we're going to do our best to make sure you can still see everything that's going on. So we're going to start with the most basic way that you can start to leverage location targeting in your accounts to take just the next step beyond what you're currently potentially doing. So I've already found my way into a campaign within this client account and I'm on the locations tab, as you can see in the left hand navigation. And this campaign is a prime example of doing just one extra step to gain a little more insight. So as you can see here on this first line item, we're targeting the entire United States with this campaign, but we also have line items for each of the individual states down below to see what performance looks like. You can see California currently not doing quite so hot. Colorado, on the other hand, is doing pretty well. There's no bid adjustment column in this campaign because this campaign is on automated bidding. So we can't actually influence what the bid adjustments are here, but we can start to see different trends in performance. If you were only looking at the total United States row the entire time, you would have no idea that California is struggling a little bit while Colorado is doing quite a bit better. And all you needed to do was add these additional location targets into your campaign. It does not mean that you're going to be targeting people in each of these areas twice. It does not mean that you're going to be competing against yourself. All it means is that when possible, Google is going to show you the data of somebody in a more specific location so you can see how that's performing. What this allows you to do is see trends over time of how certain areas are doing. Maybe this account we find that Colorado does so well by itself that it actually needs to be broken out into a different campaign so that we can leverage the good performance we're seeing there. Or on the flip side, maybe California needs to be broken out someplace else or even just turned off completely because it's not performing well. So depending on what you find here, you might be able to make a number of adjustments to your campaign strategy based on these location performance pieces. Now in a second account, we're doing something very similar, but we're actually utilizing the bid adjustments because we are utilizing manual or enhanced CPC bidding strategies. So if you are not using a smart bidding strategy and you're only using manual or enhanced CPC, you can actually adjust the bids for each of these locations that you have set up in here. Currently, they're only set up at the state level, but if we wanted to, I could make adjustments further into Georgia just by narrowing down into, let's say the Nielsen DMA regions. And now I can come in here and I can make adjustments for Macon or Albany. If I were to check the box here, I could edit the bid adjustment and add a target. So now there would be a new line item on that previous page that was for Macon, Georgia, in addition to Georgia, that had a separate bid adjustment for it. So if you're utilizing manual or enhanced CPC bidding strategies, you're not utilizing these location line items just for insights into the data. You can actually act on them in the exact same way you would adjust any other bid modifier. But the examples I've shown you here are really just targeting an entire country with the same type of language, but segmenting data in those campaigns by the geography that the people are in. But if we hop back into the first account that I was in, you can see that in addition to the current national level campaigns we have at the top, the first three, which I apologize, those are blurred out, but those are national level campaigns. We also have campaigns segmented out by city because this company is trying to actively advertise for people in a number of different cities and they benefit from having the city name mentioned in the ad copy. So let's just go ahead and click into this Chicago campaign. And again, you can see that we're still in the Chicago campaign up here at the top, but we have it targeting the entire United States and then individual states after that. And the reason is because all of the keywords include the word Chicago. So anybody in the entire country that is looking for this company's service in Chicago can find it because we're utilizing keywords to get in front of them. We don't have to target people only in Chicago when we can utilize the city name as a keyword modifier. 
I know a lot of this is blurred out and I'm sorry for that, but you can see at the beginning of each of these different ads that we're even able to then use the word Chicago in the ad copy, regardless of where the person is searching from in the country, because we know that they searched for a Chicago based keyword. So just because your company is able to advertise to people across the entire country, that doesn't mean that you can't start to get creative with your keyword lists and your ad copy and even your landing pages to send people to a location specific version of the campaign. If a user is typing in something about Chicago specifically, don't you think it makes sense to have Chicago reflected in the ad copy and then also on the landing pages where possible? We certainly do, which is why we included it in the landing page as well. We're able to customize that because we know what the person is searching for. One of the nice things about Google ads as well is that even though you can't do it for landing pages, you're still going to have to be pretty specific with those. If you wanted to customize your ads, so I hopped back here and let's just create a new one just so we can look at it. Responsive search ad. I already skipped down here a little bit and removed some of the client information. But if you want to leverage a location in your ad copy, you don't have to always type those in manually. You can utilize the location insertion down here simply by typing in the opening curly brace and you can say it will insert the location that triggered your ad and you can utilize either a city, a state or a country depending on how specific you want your ad copy to be. You can also then put in default text just in case there's not a more specific location that pops up. But this is a super easy way to start to include some of the different geographic locations in your ad copy, even if you send somebody to a national level landing page, or maybe your business is smart enough that it has a website that will detect a user's location and send them to the most accurate portion of your website based on that location. So then you can use dynamic insertion in your ad copy. Your landing page would then dynamically reflect where that user is in the country and what they're looking for. And you'd have a much more geographically focused user experience, even if it's a nationally focused campaign. Overall, I know that this video is relatively niche and might not necessarily speak to the vast majority of you, but I've always found it intriguing of how people will do the most that they possibly can with keyword strategies, landing page testing, all sorts of other things around paid search strategies, but they don't really think about location and how that can impact their campaign strategy because they can target a wide area. They just don't think to get more specific with it. So hopefully this video, even if it doesn't apply to you, has at least started to give you some ideas about how you can get creative with location targeting in your campaigns. And for those of you who are targeting nationally and are not using anything like this, give this a shot. Pick a handful of states or cities and either add them as bid modifier layers or start to do some keyword research and see if anybody is looking for geographically focused services or products and see if that might be a good way to expand your account. If you have any additional questions about geographic strategies with paid search campaigns or pretty much anything else within the paid search realm, feel free to leave us a note in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up below. If you really liked it, maybe think about subscribing to the Paid Media Pros YouTube channel and you'll get alerted every time a new video drops. If you really, really liked it, you can help support the channel by checking out some of the t-shirts that we're wearing on our merch shelf, as well as looking at the super thanks button. 